What's going on guys? We are back here at the storage unit. Going to be digging in and bringing some of these boxes home to go through. There's literally no organization in here whatsoever because when I unloaded the truck to bring everything in here, everything was already um, mixed up between baseball, football, hockey, basketball. So as you can see, but then, then again, even though these are labeled what they're labeled, doesn't necessarily mean that's what's inside the boxes. I've figured that out going through several boxes already. Uh, what's what's written on there is not necessarily what's actually in there. But like, this is uh, this is uh, gonna be. Look at that, it goes all the way down, it's stacked. Yeah, so, there's a lot to uh, to go through. There's definitely no shortage of, uh, of cards to go through looking for, for gems in here. Um, I showed you guys this last time. Let's put this over. Here's this side. We got, you know, some championship hats, magazines in here. Everything up there is full too. We have, let's see if I can reach. <sighs> Opening day, that's filled. Just uh, a crazy, crazy amount of stuff. Look at this. You know, sometimes I forget forget what's in here just a crazy amount of stuff there's Jordan just insane but uh yeah so I would say definitely um, between all of these boxes these bins, the bins underneath, this bin, that bin, all of this right here, this here in the front, where everything's filled in here. And this side has some sports cards in these bins here, but mostly uh, toys and memorabilia. I would say everything all together would be probably, I don't know, 1.5 million cards. Yeah, so one by one, one by one, one box at a time, one card at a time. So uh, let me pick out some boxes, bring them to the house, and we'll start digging through. I'll see you guys at the house. All right, guys, we are back here at the house in the collection room. I want to show you these finds that I have right here that were part of the collection. 1994 Stanley Cup Champions posters. Very cool. What's really awesome about that is the twin towers there in the back that is a killer 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 poster framed and then there's two of them behind here we got a 1994 stanley cup champions rangers team photo with the cup so those are pretty cool very excited to be able to find those um still got a lot of sorting going on over here as you can see still working my way takes time to work work through everything um, over here, I got some uh, some official yearbooks as the New York Knicks. Um, there's a bunch of Mets. There's a Mets 1978. There's a 1983 Yankees. That's a 1971 Mets. 1980s Mets. Uh, 1977 Mets. Look at that. Joe Torrey. All right, I just wanted to show you guys that. Now, let's get into what cards I found. All right, I want to show you guys a little bit of like the normal stuff that I find, not just all of the bigger, more popular cards, but so that you can got, guys can get an idea of, you know, some of the other cards that I find in the collection that are not like super major hits. But so I made a little pile here. Here's a Bowman Chrome Drew Brees, uh, Star Quest Jerry Rice. Zach Thomas, Chrome, 
Ultra Shots, Deion Sanders. Emperors of the Zone, Terrell Davis. There's Ricky Waters, rookie. There's a Michael Irvin. Marino. Ryan Klesko, finest. Craig Biggio, Chrome Stadium Club. There's a nice Roger Clemens. A Mike Piazza, embossed, rookie of the year. Very nice card. It's got like the lifted up print. Here's a, a metal card of Sammy Sosa. There's a Robin Ventura. Rookie, Charles Barkley, Penny Hardaway, and we have uh, Akeem Olajuwon. Underneath there, we have Mr. Frank Thomas. I love this; these Bowman cards. They're really cool with the gold border. Then we got a Mo Vaughn rookie, and last but not least, a Bow Breaker, Bo Jackson. Okay, those are those. I'll move over. I made a couple of piles here. The next pile is some vintage cards I found here. These are 1977, I believe. Yep, 1977 tops. Uh, I like to show some vintage because it's always fun to find the vintage cards, especially if they're in decent shape, you know. You know, good to excellent shape. It's really hard to find them in near mint or mint. But, um like to show these when I find them because I know there's a lot of people who watch the channel that like to see when people find nice vintage cards. Here's a 1975. Yep, 1975. Tops. It's an iconic set. Really cool design of the cards. I love when they, they make the newer cards in, in this style. Like the newer players, they have like the inserts of them. So a nice little stack of these. And as you can see, the color on them are really, really nice. Uh, some of them have bum corners. Most of them have bum corners. But that's expected with uh, these vintage cards. There you go. So there's those. And then on to some of the bigger cards that I found this go around. Always cool to find Marvel cards. Here's a Marvel uh, Hollow Spider-Man and Green Goblin. Pretty cool to find. Here's a Magneto Hollow. Underneath there, we got an Eddie George Live Wires. A really awesome Terrell Davis Upper Deck. Here is a Donovan McNabb in his college uniform, press pass 99. Edge and James tops chrome. It's a nice throwbacks, Fleer Tradition, Brian Erlocker. Calvin Johnson, rookie score. Cordell Stewart, score rookie. Very awesome. Edge 93, John Elway. Very cool. Looks like a cracked ice card. Here we got Miguel Tejada, rookie. Very nice Alex Rodriguez here, rock solid foundation of A Rod. Another one of those metal cards. This time it's Roger Clemens. Here's a Ken Griffey Jr. rookie. Very awesome card again. Very like cracked ice style. It is a master, a blast master Mike Piazza. Very awesome card. Madison Bumgarner, rookie. Here's a Future Stars, Bo Jackson. Frank Thomas, rookie. Carl Yastrzemski, AL All-Star. Here's a Daryl Strawberry. Right here we got a Johnny Bench, Gaylord Perry, and Carl Yastrzemski. 1970 strikeout leaders, Tom Seaver, Bob Gibson, and Fergie Jenkins. That was a really awesome card. Here's a Pete Rose, Bill Madlock, and Dave Parker. Nice when the, when they have these those kinds of cards where they're all stacked with good players. Here's Wade Boggs. Nolan Ryan, Steve Carlton, and Gaylord Perry. 
1969 home run leaders, Harmon Killebrew, Frank Howard, and Reggie Jackson. It's a nice shaped Cal Ripken. Very awesome Bo Jackson card with him in his baseball and football uniform. Very cool to find. And the final cards are, here is a nice 1994 Prospects Derek Jeter. And last but not least, another Derek Jeter score draft picks. This one is 1993. So there you go, guys. Nice, uh, nice group of cards, a mix of everything, a mix of some big Hall of Famers, good rookie cards, solid a uh, bunch of vintage, uh, those two really cool uh, New York Rangers uh, framed posters from the 1994 Stanley Cup. So overall, I would feel this go around has been really solid. Uh, nothing like super, super crazy, but still a lot of really solid cards and I'm very excited and happy about it. So if you guys enjoyed the watching the video, make sure you smash that like button. It really helps out. It helps support the channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, which most people who are watching the videos haven't subscribed, make sure just to hit the subscribe. It all it's it supports the channel and it allows you to see when I post future videos. This way it just kind of pops up on your homepage. This way you don't have to search it. So thank you guys for watching again. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will catch you in the next one. Take care.